I bounced the car off the garage as I parked. <laughs> and John was delayed for a few minutes because he had to evacuate the contents of his stomach. <laughs> Needless to say, neither of us made any points with our ladies that night. <laughs> In time, it was very apparent to us that there was an external influence that proved to be more effective than our parental reach. Subsequently, John became locked into a success track, far beyond our expectation. In fact, you might say he was spiraling out, spiraling out of control at times, but for some reason, the car he rented always made it to North Dakota and back without incident. <laughs> that was a good thing because the money he charged riders that rode with him helped cover the cost. He might have even made a few bucks in the process. So then I move on to Ellen, Ellen Louise Rosemark. Daughter of my high school classmate, Jim. <laughs> Came one of us in preparing this speech, I can tell you in the first 21 years of his life, John and I butted heads numerous times. But since Ellie's influence, <laughs> it hasn't happened again. <laughs> it was my privilege to swear John into the United States Navy, and today it is my privilege to be with him upon his retirement. I've said before that the only regret I have in life is that I was not in an MOS that authorized me to go to jump school. I'm sorry we were never able to serve together, but not having done that, I'm going to add that to my list, so now I have a list of two. We were never able to work together, and we would have been a hell of a team. I am extremely proud of both of you. And thank you for your service to this country and our family. Enjoy your well-earned retirement. Thank you. John P. Dyson, United States Navy. I extend to you my personal thanks and the sincere appreciation of a grateful nation for your contribution of honorable service to our country. You have helped maintain the security of the nation during a critical time in its history with a devotion to duty and a spirit of sacrifice in keeping with the proud traditions of the military service. Your commitment and dedication have been an inspiration for those who will follow in your footsteps and for all Americans who join me today in saluting you for a job extremely well done. My best wishes to your, for your happiness and success in the future. Signed, Barack Obama, Commander-in-Chief. From President George W. Bush to John P. Geisen, United States Navy. Dear John, congratulations on your retirement from the United States Armed Forces. I am proud to have served as your Commander-in-Chief, and I am pleased to join your family, friends, and colleagues in recognizing your career and accomplishments. Throughout history, the dedicated men and women of our military have protected our citizens and preserved the ideals that make our country strong. Their courage and sacrifice have inspired countless people and have helped shape America's character. On behalf of a grateful nation, I thank you for your contributions to our security and the cause of peace and freedom. Your service, patriotism, and selfless devotion have helped advise the universal hope of liberty at home and around the world. Laura and I send our best wishes to you and your family for health and happiness in the years ahead. May God bless you and may God continue to bless America. Sincerely, George W. Bush. Certificate of Retirement. To all who shall see these presents greeting, this is to certify that Commander John P. Geisen, having served faithfully and honorably, was retired from the United States Navy on the first day of September, 
2012, signed Vice Admiral Scott R. Van, Scott R. Van Burskick, Chief of Naval Personnel. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Commander John Geisel. <laughs> okay, well, I had this speech prepared today, but I'm not going to use it. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> speech, speech. It's only like six pages long, so. You memorized it. <laughs> 